Our new stars for Club Live 2008 are Aberdeenshire, who combine great facilities with big ambitions, Linton and Lynmouth from Devon, who play in one of the most stunning settings in the country, and the proud and passionate London-based side, Catford Wanderers. Welcome to the Granite City. Located on the northeast coast of Scotland, Aberdeen is known as the oil capital of Europe. This cosmopolitan city has a population of just over 200,000 and is famous for far more than just oil. The city's sporting sons include Gordon Strachan and Sir Alex Ferguson, who famously led Aberdeen Football Club to European glory in 1983. But it's not just about football. The city proudly boasts a thriving cricket community too. In fact, only Yorkshire has more cricket clubs per head in the whole of the United Kingdom. Aberdeenshire Cricket Club has been in existence for over 150 years and some of the game's greatest players have graced the turf at Manorfield. The incredibly successful Australian touring team of 1948 finished its uh, tour by coming up to Aberdeen to play in that September against, us, against Scotland. The team that played was the best that the Australians could put out at that time. All our top players who were fit were playing and it's a great thing for us to be able to say that Sir Don Bradman scored his last first-class century on this ground. Today is supposed to be the opening fixture of the 2008 season, but despite the blue skies, the only person out in the middle is the groundsman, who's already looking ahead to the next home fixture. Things have turned the corner just this morning, funny enough, uh, with the, the pitch I'm preparing for next week. Um, so I don't think it's a problem unless, of course, the weather intervenes again. The further north you come, obviously the temperatures, uh, especially the soil temperatures are lower uh, the further north you come. To give you an, uh, an indication, uh, we in Aberdeen here are on the same latitude as Juneau, which is the capital of Alaska in the west, and St. Petersburg in the east. So it gives you an idea how far north we are here. Despite the game being cancelled, the Aberdeenshire players are arriving at the ground. Basically, we were uh, been trying all week to still get the game, first game on. We've been uh, in constant, constant contact with the groundsmen, and unfortunately, we've had to admit defeat yesterday, so got the boys down much of a training session as we can, get the intensity up for the first start of the season. But as with Aberdeen at this time of the year, constant battle, constant weather. But at least we've got a dry day for some training, get the boys in, do as much as we can, make the best of a bad lot, as we say. Uh, no. uh, throw down nets here, two twos rotation, spin in the middle, see what far end. <laughs> the Dons are playing in the Scottish National Cricket League First Division, having just missed out on promotion to the Premier League on the very last day of the 2007 season. This year, everyone at the club is confident that the first 11 can go all the way and return to the top flight. A lot of the guys in our team, the younger guys, have aspirations to play for Scotland and play in inter-representative cricket, and we want to be in playing in that Premier League so we can compete with the guys. As I said, we've got two full internationals in our side and a couple of A internationals, um, and the idea is to be playing at that level. Obviously, the difference being there is the travelling that's in, involved with playing in the Premier League, where you're playing in a national setup, where previously when we've been playing with the only team north, north of the Firth of Forth, so you've got six teams in Glasgow, three teams in Edinburgh, and us playing out of Aberdeen. We're very confident about the season. You've got to back yourselves. We've got a lot of travelling to do this year. Uh, we know that we're going on the road on long bus journeys, but we also know we've got a great wicket to play in at home, and that suits us. And if we play our cricket, then we'll win the league. So, with the practice session done and dusted, attention turns to the pre-season fundraiser, the Aberdeenshire Cricket Club race night. The club itself is a focal point of the local community, and Aberdeenshire can proudly boast over 850 members. And the turnout for the race night is high. Yeah, After the odd technical hitch... Just, no, Taylor, it's not working, so... The racing gets underway. Come on, 
It's not long before skipper Matt Hayes is in the thick of the action. Two pounder number seven, please. Come on, number three. I'm telling you, number three. Number three. Number three. <laughs> Cough up four big ones, Bill boy. <laughs> 12 pounds, that's it. Just clearing my, clearing my gambling debts for today. Thank you very much. That's a maximum success. <laughs> Despite a damp start, everyone at Aberdeenshire will be confident that the season ahead will bring fortune and success. Well, it's not a bad start for our clubs, is it? One rained off, uh, understandably up in Aberdeen there. Two wins, so that's a good start. And it's normally at this stage that we have to adopt a club each, isn't it? Mm. Uh, you're going for Aberdeen? Yeah, I think I'll go Aberdeen, because if it does rain up there, there's plenty of fishing. So we can wander off and do a bit of that. Yeah, you don't want to play any cricket, do you? <laughs> no, I don't play cricket. No, no I, I'll, I'll probably live, live nearest to, to Aberdeen. Aberdeen out of all yeah. this, yeah, so. Comfortably. <laughs> Comfortably, yeah. So I'll go Aberdeen then. OK. Bumble? I wanted Linton and Linmouth. I've been to that <laughs> ground. It's absolutely fantastic. It is mm. so special. Very, very Out for holidays yeah. there. David yes. Shepherd lives down the road from there. Uh -huh. Umpire David Shepherd. But having seen the three teams and Linton and Linmouth, I thought, yeah, that's me. I've got to go there. I've got to go for the old geezers. I really have. The old fellas. I'll, I'll go for them. Uh, yeah. Catford, Catford Wanderers. Yeah. Well, number one, they've got a dog track at yeah. Catford, which is round the corner. And the big one. <laughs> what about the big one? Ganesh. He's well, not he missed many lunches, has he? Yeah, he yeah. saw him through to victory. When you say the Oldens, yeah. how old are you? So I asked you that the other day, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, 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 I was 45, 45 the other day. I'm 47 up. today. I think you'll find you're still marginally <laughs> the senior of some of those, or most of those players there at Catford. Well, I think I'd better go for Catford. I'll go for Catford <laughs> for the old fellas out of yeah. curiosity. Were you impressed with the, the hammer and the paintwork? And oh, the yeah. Side oh, there I, and everything the pointed me to Catford, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'd be well at home down at Catford there. All right, so we worked it out, the, the morals here. You're going to Aberdeen because when it rains you go fishing. You're going to Catford when it rains you can go and watch the dogs. Yeah. And what am I going to do in Linton? I'll just go boating off the, oh, it's lovely. Off the coast. Oh, there. it's gorgeous. It's right well, maybe up take up goat street. farming. Yes, get some goats. Have you got lovely. some goats? No, no, not at the moment. No, no. no. It's, it's a busy summer anyway without looking after goats. <laughs> but I thought, I thought, yeah, the, so the, the problems, the unique problems of our clubs around this country, you know, worrying about sort of feral goats and ponies <laughs> <laughs> is different. It's the goats that's the problem here. Yeah. All yeah, over yeah. the show. It's not a question of coaching, the pitch, you know, talent, all the rest of it is the goats. That's it. Well, um, you can have the goats and the ponies. Yeah. Have you got horses? Have you got horses? Nah, no, 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 not, not nearly enough land. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so stay away from those ponies. All right, well... We will be following all those three very, very closely uh, throughout the summer, and uh, as we can see, we're going to enjoy that. <laughs>